I want to share a story with you about the interconnectedness of life in the Amazon rainforest. This is the story of a tree, a flower, a bee, a mammal, and a frog. Our story begins with the Brazil nut tree, which only grows in the Amazon rainforest. These trees produce nuts that are inside an extremely hard coconut-like pod. Only one known animal is able to crack open this hard casing with its sharp chisel-like teeth. This rodent, named the agouti, will eat some of the nuts and bury others for later. Many of these hidden nuts are forgotten and go on to become new trees. Without seed dispersal by the agouti, new trees would not be planted. Next up in our interconnected story is the large body bee. This is the only bee strong enough to pry open the heavy hood of the Brazil nut flower and have a tongue long enough to negotiate the unique coil-shaped flower. Without pollination by this special bee, the Brazil nut tree would not exist. Our story does not stop there. The male large-bodied bee needs the perfume from an orchid flower in order to attract a mate. The male bee gathers up essential oils from the orchid, which he then stores in his hind legs. While buzzing about, he will release some of the harvested scent to attract a female. Thus, the orchid flower plays an essential role in the life cycle of the large body bee. Last but not least in this interesting family is the Brazil nut poison frog, a tiny critter measuring about two centimeters that lays its eggs on the ground. When they hatch, the male carries the tadpoles to their nurseries which are water-filled, empty Brazil nut shells. Here, the tadpoles grow rapidly as they eat the mosquito larvae sharing their home. Who knew that the Brazil nut tree plays an essential role in the raising of a baby frog? I hope you enjoyed this story. As you can see, all these species, the Brazil nut tree, the agouti, the bee, the flower and the frog, are all interconnected and rely upon one another. In a similar way, Humans are connected to the rainforests and our well-being is dependent on the health of these forests.